Is this the best Android phone on the market? Let's open it up and find out. Dave Taylor here and I have an unboxing for you. It's this. This is the brand new Show Me Mi 9 Android smartphone and it's got some pretty darn impressive specs. So, still shrink wrapped. Let's open it up with my handy dandy opening device. Careful if you're using this at home, children. And so this is featuring the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 octa-core at 2.84 gigahertz, making it actually the fastest Android phone, if not the fastest phone in the world. So, plastic, sayonara. We're gonna just get rid of that, don't need it. Now, let's see what's in the box. So, the Mi 9 comes with six gig of RAM, 128 gig of storage, it has a very quite remarkable Sony 48 megapixel triple camera, but we're gonna get back to that when we get to it. So first off, we have the box. We open it up, is the phone in here? No, the phone isn't in here, but there's a case in here. This is like a soft TPU. Looks like it's a transparent case. Let's have a quick peek. That looks pretty transparent to me. So we have that, that's nice. And then we have, oh boy, we have a USB-C to 3.5 millimeter AUX adapter, which means that this phone does not have an audio jack. That's a bummer, a lot of people aren't thrilled with that. And then we have the SIM removal tool, put that aside. Now, where's the phone, right? So let's see, ha, here's our phone. Oh, look at that beautiful blue. What a beautiful looking phone, I gotta say. Really nice feel to it. The camera all sticks out just a little bit, if you can see that. Like I said, so this is a 48 megapixel Sony triple camera. So it's 48 megapixels, and then there's a telephoto at 12 megapixels, and then there's a 16 megapixel ultra wide angle lens. And get this, if at its highest resolution, you can take 8,000 by 6,000 pixel photos. That's a lot of camera data. That means you could blow this thing up to a billboard with a picture you took with your phone. That's crazy. That's really, really high. It is the highest res camera in any smartphone on the market right now. So nicely done, show me. There's also the 20 megapixel front facing camera. Let's go ahead and take this sticker off. So I don't know if it'll boot up or it'll do anything interesting. I'll give it a shot. Oh, it is starting up, that's good. So the front facing camera is 20 megapixel and it can take 1080p video at 30 frames per second. And the selfie camera has what they call the beautify mode, which possibly I should be using. <laughs> Don't tell me that in the comments, okay? Just chill out. Um, now, as you can see in this, it's also running something called the MIUI or MIUI, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, 10 operating system, which is a layer on top of Android. So it gives you a very different experience, but my experience with these is that it's actually pretty nice. And the screen itself, you can see there's a little cutout on the top, not much, but there's a little bit. Otherwise, it's pretty darn impressive. The screen is 6.39 inches. It's a Samsung AMOLED display running at 2340 by 1080 FHD plus, nice. It also features holographic Gorilla Glass 6. So I think this is the first phone with Gorilla Glass 6 too, which means it's just super tough and scratch resistant and everything. And they say, and you can see this here with the ratio of the edge to the screen, it's 90.7 screen to body ratio. Not sure I ever think about it that way, but you know, whatever. Let's see if I can get to the next screen. Choose language, English, United States. Choose your region. Uh, this is a super long list. Let's get down here. United States and connect to network. You know what? I'll skip. I'll do this later. Let's see if we can just get it to get to the front and home screen. Looking for a SIM card. Skip that. Google services. Oh, sure. Accept. And we'll see, oh, nope, another step. Set password, 
fingerprint. So that's one of the other interesting things is it has an in-screen fingerprint sensor and what Xiaomi says is that it's 25% faster on processing than the previous generation. So that's pretty nice. It's interesting to have the in-screen fingerprint, but you know, it is oleophobic, so it's not like you're going to get a lot of fingerprints on it. Um, I'm spending a lot of time talking about this. Let's just keep digging into the box, shall we? So while we're digging into the box, I can tell you that it features a 3300 milliamp hour battery and it has a 20 watt um, fast charging, fast wireless charging. That's what this is. They sent me the fast charger too. And that's 90 minutes from dead to 100%. It's pretty fast. It also supports Quick Charge 4.0, which is the very latest generation. But meanwhile, okay, we're back. Sorry. <laughs> Had a bit of a technical issue. It might have involved a cat and it might have involved a squirrel outside the window. Totally unrelated. Okay, now let's get back to the end here with our unboxing. So it has a USB C to USB 3 cable. And since it turns out that I actually have the global version of this particular phone, I have a wall charger that plugs into a European outlet rather than a US outlet. So that's a bit of a drag, but you want to make sure you get the right version for your country. Obviously, they are GSM phones, so a GSM phone will work perfectly fine with things like T-Mobile and AT&T here in the United States, but it's not Verizon friendly, so be careful. But let's see, where are we? So here, I actually finished the setup. So if we unlock this, I'll just put a pin on it. So let's see, so here it is on the home screen. I know it's not glamorous, obviously hasn't been set up yet because hey, this is an unboxing, right? So that's all we got in the box, that's it. So let's go through and summarize everything that is in the box of the Xiaomi Mi 9. There is a USB 3 to USB-C cable, check. There is a wall power adapter, hopefully for the correct power outlet for your country. There is a USB-C to 3.5 millimeter audio jack because a very quick tour of all the edges shows that, nope, there ain't no audio jack. It also comes with a case, simple clear case, and some fairly rudimentary instructions. And of course, mostly it comes with a really beautiful phone, a really screaming nice phone. And one of the best things that they've done with this phone is that the little side button doesn't bring up Bixby anymore. It doesn't bring up any of those weird software programs, right? It does straight to Google Assistant. And you can program it so a double click on the right button can open up whatever the heck you want. Really nice. It's about time we had a little bit more control over that, right? So that's what I got. That's the unboxing. Now I'm going to ask if you can subscribe to my channel so that when I do a full review with example videos and photos and this camera has a new moon mode, so for sure I'm going to take pictures of the moon. So all of that, if you want to catch that, you want to subscribe to my channel. Great. Thank you. Now, let me just tell you, the unlocked GSM global version of the Xiaomi Mi 9 is $430 at Amazon.com. That is a pretty darn good deal when you think about the high-end phones from Samsung and Apple are over $1,000 now. 1000 bucks for a smartphone. So for $430, this is definitely worth checking out. And I will do a full review and give you all the specs and everything. So. Stay tuned, come back, and for now, I'll catch you in my next video.